Good morning, Redeemer kids. I'm Sarah, and today we're going to hear a story from Abby about Jesus walking on water. This is a very cool story. It's an awesome miracle that we get to hear about. So um, there's going to be a couple games and then a craft. So if you want to participate today, you want to run and go get these things, okay? Your Bible, make sure you're barefoot. You want some felt tip pens, a piece of paper, and then some cushions or mats or pillows, something that you can lay onto the floor, sort of like the floor is lava, okay? It's gonna be really fun. So parents, while your kids are grabbing those things, I just wanna remind you that this curriculum is accessible to you. So if you need help getting there, just email me at kids at redeemerlondon.org and I will help you out with that. Another quick reminder, I sent out an email this week earlier about updating your information in Church Suite. So if you have moved or your, your phone number has changed, it would be great if we could get some up-to-date information for you. It's always good to be able to contact you. All right? Okay, kids, if you're back, open up your Bibles and you'll be ready to Mark chapter 6. Okay? And here's Abby. Hi. Welcome to Redeemer Kids this week. We are going to be doing our thumbs up, thumbs down from our tent. We're camping this week, aren't we, boys? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, have we got any thumbs up? Me. Uh, my thumbs up is that me, Zachary, and Ezra have all got a elastic band. So mine says I'm in charge, and Zachary says awesome, and Ezra says little rascal. And then there's the things, and you can put them on your arms. If you slap it, you can put them on your arms as a wristband. Nice. And my thumbs down is that I, uh, our campsite has a beach because we're next to the beach and I was trying, I was going to swim in there but it was really cold so I, I didn't spin it. Yeah, the sea was a bit cold. So my thumbs up is, my thumbs up Gold. is that we have these and two and that we can go camping today and my thumbs down is that, um, at the beach here, well, there's rock and I really thought it was a sand beach. So what do you prefer, a sand or a rock beach? Sand. Because when you well, walked across the beach, God. you had to step on stones and it was hurting our feet a bit. Mm, yeah. It does hurt your feet. Ezra, what's your thumbs up? Tell. What's your thumbs up? Tell everyone. Not sure? Tent. The tent. Good boy. The tent. What's your thumbs down? You don't know? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you could do your thumbs up and thumbs down this week at home. Great. Okay, right now we're going to play a game um, to get from this camping chair to those camping chairs over there. Okay, so it's a bit like Jesus walking on water, but it's Levi and Zachary walking on the mats so they don't fall into the water. Sometimes they play this game at home and the game is called the floor is lava. So you could play this with mats or you could play it with cushions from the sofa. So you ready boys? Yeah. Right, up you get. Right, stay on the mats, off you go. See how quick you can do this, teamwork. Good job. Very good. Oh, it's a big jump. Can he make it? He can. Very good. Almost there. I reckon they could do it in one more go. That's it. And they are safe to the other side. Lovely. Well done, boys. Thumbs up. Good job. You made it. Yeah. Okay. This next game, you could do this with your family and you could pretend to walk on different surfaces that might be quite tricky to walk on. Maybe you could pretend to be walking on quicksand or slippery ice or a steep hill or even water. Right now, Levi and Zachary are going to be walking on these hay bales that we've picked up while we're camping. They're, they're wobbly. 
they're a bit wobbly okay it might be trickier if you've got your crocs on zachary it might be easier for levi let's see how we go you're going to jump as well or just walk okay go go on then oh close that's it good job oh you see bit wobbly there nice try this is the tricky one here we go and then oh good try nice job boys so humans struggle to walk on some surfaces such as slippery things like down a steep hill and one thing that humans cannot walk on is water our bodies are much too dense our feet push right through the surface today we will be learning about a time when jesus miraculously walked on water so we are on the beach there are lots of things on this beach that can float we've got the cruise ships over there that are no longer sailing around the world but they are docked and floating here we've got a nice boat some children sailing over there boats that's right Ezra Levi's got his armbands on which means he can float with his armbands on there's a canoe over there and a dive diving area so there are lots of things here in this sea that can float and there are people that are swimming they can also float by swimming people. yes people Ezra people. Right. tell me about your boat Zachary Your boat floats and your rocks sink. Some things float, some things sink. So, Peter was in a boat like this and he was in the storm and Jesus came and walked across the water and calmed the storm. Not sure there was a big bridge though in our Bible story today. Okay, our story this week is when Jesus walked <coughs> on water. Bless you again. Okay, are we ready? Are we all listening at home? Yes. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead to the other side of the lake while he dispersed the crowd. After saying goodbye to them, he went to the mountain to pray. When evening came, the boat was in the middle of the sea and he was alone on the land. He saw them straining at the oars because the wind was against them. As the night was ending, he came to them walking on the sea. Have you ever seen anybody walk no. on the sea? No. 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 But when they saw him yeah. walking on the water, they thought he was a ghost. They cried out. For they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them. Have courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Then he went up with them into the boat and the wind calmed. They were amazed because they did not understand about the loaves. But their hearts were hardened. Wow, that's amazing. So we haven't had any storms yet camping on our holiday. But we have had some rain. We have had some rain. But if you were out at the sea and you were in a boat and there was a big, big storm, how would you feel? Scared. You would feel scared. How would you feel if you saw someone walking on top of the water coming towards you? I'd feel, I don't know, what the eater feel could feel worried. I could feel amazed. You might feel amazed. Great. Okay, so we're going to have some questions and let's see what people's answers are at home. So come and sit next to me, boys. We're going to hold up the questions. I'll read them out and the answers are written on the back. Okay. Okay, we've got some questions for you at home. Levi's question Why did Jesus perform miracles? We've learnt lots of stories recently in Kids Church about miracles that Jesus performed, but why did he perform all of these miracles? Got the answer, There's Levi? three answers here. To glorify God, 
to show he is the Son of God or to care for people. Lovely. To glorify God, to show he is the Son of God and to care for people. Right. Zachary's question. How do you think the disciples felt in the storm? Have a think at home. How would you feel if you were on a boat in a storm in the sea? Okay, Zachary. Nervous, scared, worried or frightened? Nervous, scared, worried or frightened. Which one would you go with, Zachary? I would go with frightened. I would go with scared. Scared. Okay, Ezra, do you want to come and read your one? Why did Jesus stay behind when the disciples crossed the lake? Why did Jesus stay behind? Why did he not go with them? What was he doing? Do you remember in the story, boys? Why did Jesus stay behind? He was doing he something. He was praying on the top of the mountain. He was praying, wasn't he? On the land, he was praying because Jesus loved to pray to his Father God. And prayer is really, really important. So I encourage you all to pray at home. And while we're here, shall we pray now? Okay, we're going to do some praying. And I really encourage you to pray at home. It's so good to pray Love every that. day to Jesus. He hears our prayers and he loves to listen to us. Yeah, okay, yeah. Zachary, do you want to pray for us? Yes. Dear Jesus, thank you that we got to go camping and that we bring some of our toys and that God can always help us if something went wrong. Amen. Amen. Super. Yes, Jesus, we thank you so much for all of the miracles that you performed and the ones we read about in the Bible. But we thank you that you can also do miracles today and you are a living God today and that you love us all. Amen. Amen. OK, for our craft this week, I need you to take your socks off. So if you're wearing socks at home, you need to pull them off, pull off those socks, get those bare feet out. I hope they're not too pongy. Have a sniff, are yours okay? Oh. Feeling good? Yeah. Not so fresh if we're camping? Yeah. Right, okay. And you need some felt tip pens. What I would like you to do is have a go at drawing around your foot. This is my foot. Here's one I made earlier. So you can draw around your foot. So boys, have a go. Ezra, should we draw around yours? Yeah. Okay, doesn't matter if you make any mistakes. Doesn't matter if you get any pen on your feet because you can just have a nice shower or a bath later on but this foot is to remind you of Jesus walking on the water. Do you want both feet? You can do both feet if you've got a small feet. My feet were too big so I could only do one but Ezra's got quite small feet. So here are Ezra's feet. Have you done that at home? Great. Then you need to find some colours that you could use for maybe the sea. So I've got some blues and some greens here and you can draw the sea around the outside and I've put some little fish in mine, you can put some crabs just to remind you of Jesus walking on the water. So if you've done some of these it'd be great if you could put them on our Redeemer uh, Parents Facebook page because we would love to see your crafts this week. Lovely. Right boys I think we're done for this week so shall we say a goodbye and we'll finish these ones later. Let's do our best ever goodbyes everyone. Let me tell you about a God man come to earth But it wasn't for his profit or his gain Surrendering his father's plan came first As he bore our sin and shame His name is Jesus King of heaven 